What's up everybody? It's Chris in the kitchen. I'm gonna do a little taste test video today. Well, I got some products that I've already tried, but I've also got a product that I haven't tried, so I wanted to try to make a breakfast sandwich. It's early in the morning over here in the vegan zombie kitchen. Cooking with the vegan zombie. You know, I've been making breakfast sandwiches as a vegan for over 20 years, and the way I used to do it was either using just some bread or usually bagels and then I would put like a slab of tofu that I cooked up and seasoned up. The way I'm gonna make it today is with some new products and we're gonna try it out. I'm using bagels here. So I have the Everything Bagel by Wegmans, they're vegan. This is a sausage that I always used to use and it's really good. It's, um, it's been around for a long time. It's the Light Life Gimme Lean Sausage and you just form it into like little patties. And I gotta say, it's been around for a super long time and it still holds up today. It's still one of my favorites. Sometimes I would even season it up and make those little patties. But I'm not gonna use that today. I just wanted to show you what I normally used. I'm actually gonna use this Jack and Annie's. This is a new sausage. It's savory breakfast. It doesn't come with the whole breakfast sandwich, just the sausage, just so you know. And it's made from jackfruit, which to be honest, initially I thought that wouldn't be is good if it was made from jackfruit, but I've tried some of their other products like their chicken nuggets, and I think they have meatballs too, which I haven't tried those. And they were really good, the chicken nuggets were good. So I'm gonna give these a try. And then I have had these before, but if everybody's seen the Just Egg, they have the little egg patties. Normally I would use tofu, but we're gonna use the Just Egg. And we gotta have some vegan cheese. So I have four different flavors to choose from, from Good Planet, smoked provolone, but we also have the garlic herb, the cheddar, and the hot pepper. And then last but not least, also one of my favorites from back in the day, the Light Life Bacon. If you make it right, it comes out pretty good. If you don't make it right, it's not that appealing. So you gotta make it right. And usually by making it right, you put it on a skillet with like a little bit of oil or butter, which over the years I've stopped pretty much cooking with those things. But I think we're gonna try it just for this video so I can get that texture and, and uh, crispiness to it. You don't want to put it in the microwave. It doesn't come out good in the microwave. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the sausage patties. And you get six of them. And these two things will heat up nicely in an air fryer. So we don't even really have to put them on the skillet. But we're going to put this on the skillet. I'm going to put the just egg and the sausage right in the air fryer. That's going to be just fine. And we're going to put that in there for about, I'd say about seven minutes on high. We'll come back there in a minute, seven of them. For those of you wondering how I cook these right, I have a little bit of vegan butter in there and I've got the bacon on top of that. We're gonna cook it till it's nice and crispy on both sides. We want it to kind of brown up a little bit, but once it starts to show signs of like burning on the edges, you wanna take it off and put it on a uh, paper towel or a cloth. Now it's time to turn these. They're nice and crispy on one side. A little bit of a, a brown edge on the outside, that's perfect. And then just another minute or two like that, and they should be good to go. Probably turn the heat down. Okay, so I'm gonna take the bagels and I'm gonna put them face down on the skillet right now. The bacon is done, as you can see. We're just gonna put that on the plate and then it'll be nice and crispy and tasty. Crispy and tasty. And we have a hot skillet here. We're just gonna put the bagels face down like that or you could just put them in the air fryer if you want. I like to toast them up a little bit. Now we wanna melt the cheese. So I'm just gonna turn the bagels and I'm gonna put there on there. I'm gonna use the garlic herb. That's a nice garlic herby cheese by Good Planet Foods. So we got a nice little char there. Just put these like that. Let it melt a little bit. Okay, very simple. Here we go. Put some ketchup on it. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, veganaise on mine as well. Okay, and then we'll put a couple pieces of the bacon right there and we'll close it up. You can put the cheese on the top so it melts over the whole thing. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna taste the same either way. Okay, so let's take the knife. The breakfasty sandwich, there it is, We're vegan. Here we go. Oh wow. That sausage is really good. That might be the best vegan sausage I've ever had. Try another bite. That is some legit vegan sausage. It is really good. This whole breakfast sandwich is really good. I didn't doubt it wasn't going to be, but you know, the sausage is the one thing I haven't tried yet. So again, that's Jack and Annie's sausage. 
I, I found it at Wegmans. I picked up a couple boxes of this and the, the chicken. I did the chicken taste test uh, a couple months ago. So far, that's two out of three of the products that I tried were really good. Jack and Annie's, wow. Made out of jackfruit. Yeah, and, and honestly, I, I could not tell that that was made out of jackfruit other than the fact that it's called Jack and Annie's and it's made from jackfruit. But I'm gonna go enjoy this now and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. I just got a package and it's perishable, which means there's food in here. It says Louis New York City Luncheonette, a plant-based deli meat. Yeah, let's open this up. All right, here's what we have here. Louis pig saving ribs, 150 grams of plant protein. It's vegan. Hey, vegan zombie. On behalf of the Louis plant-based team, we really appreciate you trying our new plant-based pig saving ribs and helping spread the word. Please enjoy and don't be afraid to get a little messy. Feels like there's a good amount in here too. What do you say we cook them up and uh, give it a little taste test? It says they're fully cooked, vegan, vegan, and the baking instructions, 400 degrees for 30 minutes, rotating every 15 minutes, and go ahead and apply more barbecue sauce if you want. So it looks like it's a flavored seitan is what it is for, from what I can see from the ingredients. Let's cook it up. Cast iron, I'm gonna put it right in the oven. Oh wow, that smells super good. I think Morningstar used to have ribs, riblets, and uh, I haven't seen them in years, but yeah, I used to be able to buy. So there we go. So I'm just gonna cook it like that. It's a lot there, so I'm not gonna eat it all in one meal. Let's uh, go ahead, 30 minutes, flipping it after 15. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes, but you'll see me and the snap of my fingers. See how fast that was? All right, it's been a half an hour. Let's see how they look. All right, there it is. Ooh, look at that. Fun fact, I've never had non-vegan ribs even before I was vegan, so let's see how they look. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty hot. It looks nice, it smells really good. I also have some extra barbecue, sweet barbecue sauce from Wegmans, vegan. Put some of that on top right there. I don't know what you eat ribs with, maybe some mashed potatoes or something. All right, I cut it and I plated it, it looks, Looks good, knowing that it's vegan. Smells really good. Um, I guess it's time to try it out, right? My first instinct was to grab a fork, but I, you're supposed to get messy. It says it right in the directions. So let's go for it. Let's, uh, let's take a messy one right there. All right, here we go. It's got a nice texture, a nice taste. It's salty. It's a nice barbecue char on the outside. The barbecue sauce uh, adds to it. It's really good. Louis pig saving ribs. So if you're a rib person and you wanna go vegan, try out Louis ribs. I don't know where you can get them. I'll link their website below so you guys can check that out. They sent these to me, so I, I haven't seen them in the stores, um, but it says they're in New York City. I think they ship all over the place. So go check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I still have more taste tests to come. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up, share it, comment below, subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next video.